Hi guys, we're back with the uh, Abzan uh, Exiling and Processing deck and uh, so I went ahead and um, put and uh, put this in to tapped out so we can test it out and everything and um, if you are new to the this channel um, this is basically just the process of, of brewing decks basically so we're right towards the end stage so if you wanna uh, go look at the other videos um, they kinda show where I started out and how I came up with the idea and uh, all that stuff so um, yeah so I put it into tapped out and um, and tested it out and I found a few things first of all um, there are not enough two drops um, so we have three here and then three here, but suspension field you never want to play on turn two. So on turn one and two, you're just sitting there doing nothing. Um, you can play a Helm of the Gods, but um, yeah, you don't have any board presence at all, which is not good. So uh, one thing we're go I'm going to do is um, another another well another thing I found is Elemental Bond does not trigger that much. Um, despite having a decent amount of things that trigger it. Um, we got 8, um, 10, 13 things. That's not a huge amount of cards. I mean, that's like a quarter quarter of the deck, almost. Um, but, uh, so, yeah, that, that doesn't trigger that often, which is kind of annoying. Uh, we really need the card advantage. Um, so one thing, another thing that I was looking at is Helm of the Gods really isn't that good either because you're kind of splitting up your, your threats because Helm of the Gods you want, you want enchantments for and, but in order to use Helm of the Gods you need a, a creature. So this is, this is better in, in decks that have a very, uh, very evasive creature that, you know, you just want to throw a whole bunch of enchantments onto and then Helm of the Gods or something like that. Um, but this deck, I don't think it, it wants it. It wants, wants more of like value and um, you know, threats rather than just supportive cards. So um, I think I'm going to take Helm of the Gods out um, and then we need to add a 2-drop probably. Uh, if Elemental Bond still isn't good, we might replace that also. Um, but the rest of it is pretty solid, so um, I think the only problem with this deck right now is the curve being a little off, and these cards that are just not doing any anything. So uh, yeah, let's uh, let's find something to replace them. So first of all, let's take out the Elm of the Gods. Um, Elemental Bond with 16 creatures that trigger it might be better than just 13. I mean, it will be better than 13, but um, I don't know if it's still that good. Um, so we're going to take out the Helm of the Gods. Yeah, you can make it. Okay, that's prototype. Good. And we're going to find a replacement, probably a creature. Um, we're kind of low on creatures, so I think it might be pretty good to get, get a creature. Um, so yeah, I want to go ahead and put these in here, um, for filters, so we did that, add all the colors that we want, colorless also, okay, creature, less than or equal to two, alright, perfect. It crashed on me earlier, so I already went through this, but, um, yeah, so I'm recording it again. Okay, so, um, yeah, we're looking for two drops. Probably not double white like Anafenza, it's just, you know, that's a pretty uh, hard thing to do in three colors. Um, one thing I was looking at is Battle Brawler, which seems pretty good. It's a, it's going to be a 3-2 first strike most of the time, and that is pretty strong. Um, so I'm going to put it down here. So that's pretty good. 
it's definitely a good option. Um, Beast Caller Savant, I don't think we have enough creatures to actually use that well. Um, and it's just, it's just not a threat, and I think we want threats. Um, let's see here. Don't think we have enough warriors for this. Don't think we have any warriors, in fact. Yeah, we don't have any warriors. So that doesn't work, that doesn't work. Carrier, carrier Thrall is also not bad, um, but it's it's not great. Um, yeah, again, no warriors. This guy's M15. That guy doesn't do much. We want we want threats. We really really want threats. Um, double white, probably not going to work, but it's not bad. Den protector is another option if we have them. Um, obviously it's expensive, so... You know. Kind of like to brew on a budget. At least to start out. If you, if you brew on a budget, you'll, you'll figure out how good it is, and then, um... And then you can put in cards that are expensive if you really need to. But to test a uh, to test a concept, you're gonna want to play things that are just below um, or just different than in general the expensive cards. Alright, let's see... anything at all... We got... Swiftwing? Gurmad Swift, Swiftwing? Ugh, can't say that. Uh, so he's not bad. Um, pumping him seems pretty cool. Pumping him with the uh, Citadel Siege seems cool. Uh, Hand of Silmgar is pretty meh. Hangerback Walker is obviously in, insane with the, the Citadel. I mean, that's pretty cool, I guess. It's a threat. I mean, you can stick Hangerback Walker in pretty much every deck, so. You know. Um, Hair of the Wilds. Power 4 or greater. I think we do have quite a bit of 4 or greater guys. That guy's 4 or greater, 4 or greater, 4 or greater. Uh, 4 or greater. So you have one, two, th three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we're bound to get one like pretty much every game. That's not bad. Um, but I don't know. It's just kind of generic. All right, let's see. Warriors don't need that. Harold, we already got that guy. Honor honored. Hierarch. Don't think enough of a threat. And we don't need ramp that bad. Want threats, 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 threats. None of these are really threats. Knight of the White Orchid's cool too, um, but double white again can be too hard. Maybe if we were two colors it would work. Kytheon doesn't, uh, doesn't really work with the amount of creatures we have. Lightwalker is okay, but it's not great alone. It's only going to be good with Citadel Siege. Skullhunter, again, not really a threat. I'm not sure why. Oh yes, I forgot colorless stuff. Okay, um, not a threat. Not a threat. Etc. 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 Death Dealer is decent. Um, it's a mana sink. But I kind of feel like we're not gonna have enough uh, mana. 
every turn just to pump him or regenerate him. But he does seem decent with the uh, Citadel Siege. You just keep making him bigger and bigger and bigger and regenerating him if they ever try and kill him. So he could be an option. The Sentinels, double green. Plus, we don't have any dragons. Scythe Leopard, not enough of a threat. Seeker of the Way seems pretty decent. How many non-creatures? We have uh, 16. 16 non-creatures. I think it'd be decent, um, but we do have lifelink already. We already have the Blood Cursed Knight, which I think is better. So, yeah. kind of want to diversify what we have here. Um, but... I'll put him in the list anyways. Okay, almost done. Okay. Grandmaster doesn't really work because we don't have any, you know, life linking spells stuff. Um, we don't even really have, I mean, we just have Abzan Charm for this, and we can't even trigger it, because it's blue-red, so. Sultai Emissary, I like, um, just because it's a pretty resilient creature. You don't really have to do anything, you just play him, and then block, and then block. But he's not a threat, so. Freeblade's also good. It's a cool card. And I've won a lot of drafts with that card. <laughs> card is very good. At least in limited. Uh, Undercity Troll. Also pretty good. Um, it's kind of similar to Rakshasa. Um, but it does get renowned. Wondering Champion, we don't have blue or red permanents. Warden, the first tree, um, it's a good one. Could be our one drop slot and our two drop slot, pretty much. But it gets kind of clunky when you play it on turn two. Because we want to play then turn a three drop and then, you know, you won't, won't have mana to make him into a bigger guy. Just kind of gets hard to keep up with. Um, yeah, so I think that's our, that's our options. We can definitely include them in the list. Okay, so, um, if we do want to keep the um, elemental bond in the deck, which I'm still not sure if we should. Um, we are going to need to play something with three or power more, which I think the only one is this, Battle Brawler. It's not the most exciting card. Um, So maybe we just take out an elemental bond, see if we can find anything else that draws, because we do need card advantage. Definitely do need card advantage. Just a big draw spell might be good, I think. Um, anything that draws. <laughs> All right. So yeah, we really need just anything that draws cards. Um, it's gonna be need to be a, a decent amount of cards. 
Abzan Beastmaster doesn't seem bad. Uh, I think we're gonna we're gonna kill a lot of stuff. Um, so we're probably gonna kill their biggest creature a lot. So we're gonna have a lot of high toughness guys. You know, Anafensa is very high toughness. White Herders, high toughness. Blood Curse Knights, pretty decent. It's gonna be three most of the time. Um, we got Hyxis and, uh, yeah, I mean, we have some, a decent, dis decently high toughness deck. So that's, a, that's an option. So those are our two drops that we that we are considering, and I'm gonna put in um, card advantage cards in here as well. Okay, and obviously we do have Absan Charm still, so we do have some um, some card advantage if we need it, which is nice, but I, I still think we probably need more. I like, per, per, personally I really like uh, cards, or decks that have a lot of card advantage, so. This could be very good, actually. Um, the lifelink guys. I got a benefit off this, and then drawing cards, extra cards is pretty sweet. Oh, except the first one you draw in each of your draw steps. Oh, okay, never mind. That's bad. <laughs> That's too bad. It costs five. It should it should do upkeep also, but whatever. Beginning of your upkeep, draw a card. Yeah, no. Oh yeah, it's at 15 anyways. Damnable Pact. Um, this might be okay, I think. Uh, hmm. Draws X cards and loses X life. So five, for five you'd get three cards and lose three life. Yeah, it's really not great, actually. Probably only gonna get up to six or seven, so maybe we draw five and lose five. That, that's not great. Dark Dabbling. Yeah, that doesn't, it doesn't give us enough cards. We already looked at these. This, we don't have any way to return it. I, I really wish we did. Because it would combo with a lot of our other uh, cards. We could like quarantine field, return it, and then, or yeah, use it, use the processor, return it, and then play it again. But unfortunately, there's no cards around that right now. That draws one card. I don't really want cantrips, that's not really what I'm looking for. Looking more for cards that are gonna um, give me continuous card advantage. Um, Grim Haru Specs. It's not bad. I think we like the other one better. This guy. He's more consistent. We don't have that many creatures to die, so it's not like great. Hmm. No, no, I don't think we have enough counter stuff. We have one thing that makes counters, and that's it, so no. Soul Hoarder. Whenever a permanent owned by another player is put into a graveyard from the battlefield. Ah, oh, I wish it was just graveyard from anywhere and then, then that'd be interesting because we could, you know, process cards and stuff. But no, of course. Alright. 
sacrifice a creature drop equal to the creature's power. Not good enough. Scribe 5, then reveal the top card of your library. If it's a creature card, you would draw cards equal to its power, and you gain life equal to its toughness. Yeah. No. Odd Nixilis. I'd love to just play this card just because it's good. It's also, like, super expensive. I don't remember how much it was. But again, it's like... Let's see. I'm sure every Abzan deck is going to be playing that card now. Obnixilis. Reignite. It is twenty dollars. Cool. Yeah. Um, if you have them, put them in. <laughs> if you don't have them, yeah. Painful truths. You get to draw three for three. I don't think that's great. Lose a lot of life. You should have just been draw and not lose life. But I guess black. The theme of black wouldn't really fit with that. Uh, read the bones. I. I know people think this is a great card, but it just wastes a turn. But I'll put it in. Resupply. Oh. Did I miss one? No, I didn't. Okay. Alright. Let's see. Draw a card for each creature you control. And then you gain four life for each creature you control with four or greater. Um, that's probably only going to draw two or three. Unless you hit a blight herder and then you, you know, go ham. <laughs> draw four off of it. But I don't think it's good enough. Sire of Stagnation. No. Um. Smothering Abomination, I don't think is good enough. It's really just not that good. People think it's good, it's not good. <laughs> nope. Whenever a creature you control becomes renowned, draw a card. Yeah, we don't have anything renowned. So, no. <sighs> okay, so we have a few options. We've got Beastmaster, Haru Specs, Read the Bones, or Obnixilis. Um, I'm probably gonna go with Beastmaster, just because, um, fits our, fits our deck well. Obviously, Obnixilis would be crazy good. And we kind of need two drops more, but that'll be handled uh, when we replace the other stuff. So let's go ahead and take out Elemental Bond and put in the Beastmaster. I think that's decent. I like backing up Beastmaster with... Uh, with removal and stuff. So let's put in two of the Beastmasters. And every creature is po like possibly a threat due to the um, Citadel Siege, so it's good to have creatures. And we're going to put in three of the something else. Three of the something else. Alright, so we could go with Den Protector, which is expensive. Hangerback Walker, which is also very expensive. Um, Battle Brawler, which is pretty decent. I'm trying to think if there's anything that would actually...
actually combo, but um, probably Seeker of the Way is the only one. Yeah. Um, Battle Brawler doesn't seem bad because you got a lot of enchantments that are going to stick around that are white. So, you know, not bad. It's probably a better blocker than Seeker of the Way, which I like. Um, because of the first strike. It's going to block a lot of stuff. It blocks some um, Death Mist Raptor even without dying. So, you know, I think probably uh, maybe two battle brawlers, one seeker. No, let's just go with three battle brawlers. It's a little bit more aggressive. Okay, so let's look at our curve here. Make sure everything is still good. Um, we have twos, we have, what, eleven, sixteen threes or something like that. And then, like, no fours. <laughs> we could maybe cut some threes for some fours instead. Um, that would kind of round out the curve a little bit. Would be nice. Thing is, that, is there anything that's you know could be replaced with a four drop that would be more powerful than a three drop? And that I'm not sure about. Let's look through. Quarantine field is actually going to be a four most of the time, so maybe we don't need it. It's going to be it's going to be three plus two. It's going to be five. It's gonna be up here. Still, still pretty low on fours. Um, and kind of high on fives. We're well, on f like four or five drops. It's not really that high. It's just we have such a high, um, three drop curve. Okay, let's see. Um, maybe we can search for four drops specifically and, uh, see if we can find anything. Mana cost equals four. Bam. Done. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Is anything here better than what we have in our three drop slot? That is the question. Nope. <laughs> I've been finding it hard to find good four drops. Actually, it's kind of kind of a weird um weird turn. Let's see, so we might be able to play the Archangel of Tithes. Uh, but the only thing is we, this deck is like, you know, everything we have is comboing with something else. If we take out a piece, it's going to kind of make the rest of it worse. So we kind of need something that's going to still combo. Like Blightcaster, but again, playing a Blightcaster on turn four is probably not very powerful. Um, we have eleven enchantments, so we might like hit it once. So it's probably not very good. Brutal Horde Chief. We don't have enough creatures for it, so I wouldn't even bother. Vigilance, formidable. Add three to your mana pool. Hm. Do we need that much mana? I mean, mana is always good, but 
Not really. Collect collected company. Hmm. Did this deck just get a whole lot better? I think it might have collected company, huh? That's an interesting one. Um, <laughs> that is for sure very powerful in this deck. I mean, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 11, 14, 17. I mean, it's almost a third of our deck. So we're going to hit one or two no matter what. At instant speed, a lot of this is going to be pretty good too. Uh, Strangler is going to be very good at instant speed. Uh, Battle Brawler is going to be very good at instant speed. Even Beastmaster wouldn't be bad for instant speed because you could flash it out at the end of their turn. Hmm, I wonder how much Collected Company is. Let's see. Not even sure. Ten dollars. Uh, we could swing it. We could swing that. Only question is, what are we going to take out? So I think we're going to take out just a few of the, um, of the three drops in favor of Collected Company, because Collected Company has the chance to hit two guys, which is pretty awesome. And it's at instant speed, like I said before. So, um, hmm, a few three drops. I think we're taking out a Blood Cursed Knight And a Herald of the Pantheon. Yeah, that's fine. Do we really want to cut down on twos that much? Probably not. Maybe a Citadel Siege. Well, Her Herald of the Pantheon and Citadel Siege are very good together. Maybe we want to take out one of the Beastmaster, or maybe one of the Abzan Charms. Yeah, I think that would be fine. One Abzan Charm. Put in two Collected Companies. It might be better just to put in a bunch of them, but... You know. Don't want to go crazy with them. Alright, let's see how the, the curve works out now. It's probably going to be a lot better. Yeah, that's decent. Um, remember, quarantine field is uh, four, so we got two more than we're. We got two more here and two less here, so we're gonna be up to seven, and probably eight or something, or uh, nine, seven and nine. Um, that seems pretty good. Let's try it out. <coughs> Yeah, that's that's Morgan or whatever. Just restart. That's keepable, I guess. If we draw lands, hopefully. Nope. <laughs> Just kidding. It's not keepable. I lied. Special field um, makes this guy into a three-two. That's nice. Okay, well we got we got the land. Got the land. It's not bad. Um and we have a billion pieces of removal in here. Uh which is kind of a problem because we don't have any threats. So maybe we just draw two right here. Yeah, that was better. Okay, um let's play a Herald. 
and possibly a stasis snare, maybe? Never know. So now we have two things in exile, and this guy's a 3-2 first striker, which is cool. This is turn 5, so it's like a little behind because we didn't draw land, but... Um, Blight Herder, you can play that now. Get the two... or the three guys. Um, we could also just play... A quarantine Field and a Suspension Field, or we could play Citadel Siege and Suspension Field. I mean, that's kind of, kind of a lot of damage. It's pretty cool. So that, that was actually a decent, decent hand. That's good. I do like the Battle Brawlers. I, th I feel like they're going to help you win in combat a lot. Oh, there you go. Hit the 2 drop. That's awesome. Hit the 3... But maybe we just want to go with Anafenza. Maybe we just want to go with Beastmaster. I think it's probably better. Earlier. If they want to kill it, they can kill it. But draw another card. Just assume that we do. Because I said so. <laughs> um, now we can go Anafenza. Suspension Field. Kill their stupid guy with Toughness 3 or greater. Haha. -ha. Um, which in case we didn't draw a card, but shh, it's fine. <laughs> um, next turn, draw another card. Quarantine field for six. Can we do that for two guys? Two guys for five, that's pretty cool. Yeah, two guys for five. With the, uh, Herald out. Oh. That's pretty. That's a pretty good turn five right there. Exile two of the guys. It's <laughs> pretty mean. That was a strong hand. Yeah, I kind of imagine that they're uh, playing lots of big creatures and stuff, and uh, it seems to be doing pretty well. Get back in there. Okay, so we got three drop. Um, okay, so now we can just suppression field, I guess, for one. Not a great use of mana. I guess we could just uh, quarantine field for three. But whatever. All right, and then we'll see how good uh, collected company is here. Got one, two, three, four, okay, there's one, five, and get the next one, no, just this one, okay. But that at instant speed is not bad. The rest of them go to the bottom of your library. I'm just gonna exile them. Okay. So next turn, so we got one of these. That's pretty good. Uh, we can hit one of their guys. Mm, probably not. Let's use the strangler. Hit one of their guys. Now we can. Uh, the Beastmaster and the Suspension Field. Maybe draw another one. If we uh, killed the big sky, maybe we get one. You know? So I, I think it works out very well, actually. Um, this deck seems pretty good. Uh, you know, collected companies might be expensive, but the rest of it's not. Besides the lands, of course. Always the lands. Lands are always the most expensive part of most of my decks, <laughs> which is really, really annoying. Um, but if you want to be competitive, you you have to have the right lands, so... Unless you're Monica, or then you don't care. <laughs> um, but yeah, here's the deck. Uh, I don't think there's much in it that's expensive. Maybe an offenses? I'm not sure. Let's see. The foremost... 
What's the foremost? Maybe it is. Seven dollars. Uh, that's not bad. Anafenza and uh, Collected Company are going to be the most expensive cards, and you can you can uh, switch out something for Collected Company. I didn't even bother going through the four drops, but uh, so I saw that and I was like, "Yep, that's that's probably pretty good." But there's plenty of stuff that you could use for sure. Trying to see if there's any alternatives that you can build if you want to build this deck. Erebos is Titan. I think that's probably still expensive. <laughs> there's a lot of expensive uh, four drops because they tend to be threatening. And the bigger the threat, the more it is. Oh, it's not that bad. It's 150. But it's also triple black, so it's pretty uh, hard to play. I I'm, I'm suppose you could uh, experiment with From Beyond. Play a Gideon. I don't know. He's pretty good. Obviously, um, I mean he's just crazy good, but you know, again, might not want to buy him. If you have any of these cards, yeah, put them in. High Sentinels of Ration. Um, I will like that card quite a bit. I think it's pretty strong. It might be even more aggressive than uh, the Collected Company. So that's definitely an option. Kytheon's or Regulars is also pretty cool. I love the tap effect on this thing. Um, it's won me a bunch of games in Limited too when I pulled that card. Very good. Um, Ojutai Exemplars. Gives first strike and lifelink until end of turn whenever you cast a non creature spell. That's kind of interesting. Um, that'd be kind of weird with um, Elemental Bond. You could like exile it, return it back. <laughs> but uh, I don't. I mean, it's okay. You can tap stuff. Kind of get in there. Might be one to experiment around with. Obviously, you could just jam Seed Rhino in. If you want to be boring. If you want to be lame. <laughs> Somber Wild Alpha is not bad. Soren's pretty good, too. Um, I think I have the Soren, actually. If I build this deck, I might just put him in there. Sultai Flares. Not terrible. I guess. Uh, Ciroc is also pretty good. Temer Sabretooth could be kind of cool with the combos. Uh, returning the Blight Herder or the uh, Strangler. Or the Hexus, I guess. This card's interesting, um, but you might find that two is too much <laughs> to pay, actually. But, you know, I'd, I bet you would probably be decent. Um, returning the Strangler might be pretty awesome. <laughs> and 
And Woodland Wonder. It's actually very undervalued. It's a very good card. It's on par with Seed Rhino, I would say, in exchange for the three life. If you're playing a three color deck, you're, I mean, you have the option of making it a Siege Rhino is the thing. I mean, you can just pay the same amount as you would for Siege Rhino, and it comes in as a 5-5 Vigilance Trample. So you're really just playing a Siege Rhino that's, instead of a 4-5, it's a 5-5, and instead of getting the life when it comes into play, um, you get Vigilance. Which, I mean, I don't know. This is it's a pretty good card. Like, if you have to, you can always play it as a 4-4. Four four, which you can't do with, with Seed Rhino. Obviously, if you don't have all three colors, you just can't play it. So, I think this card's very undervalued. I don't know how much it is right now, but... Woodland Wonder. And, you know, uh, the reason why... Siege Rhino is such a good, you know, card is because you get back in the game when you play it. But this guy is uh, just solid, you know. A 5-5 five, five for 4 with Vigilance to Trample is pretty gnarly. And if you can interact with um, with counters, it gets even better. Um, I don't know if there's anything like that, but... Yeah, so those are some options for 4 drops if you don't want to... Um, get Collected Company. It might even be better just to play one of those four drops besides Collected Company. Um, collected Company is probably going to be semi-underwhelming in this deck. I mean, you do have a decent amount of three drops, but not as much as you want. You know. But anyways, uh, so once Magic Online comes out uh, with this set, I will probably um, build this deck probably without the collected companies. And then I'll make some uh, gameplay videos and so you guys can check out how it's, how it's working and we can adjust it as needed. But anyways, this is the end of the episode, or whatever this is called, I guess. I guess it's an episode. It's not a TV show, but whatever. Um, this is the end of the thing, the YouTube thing. Uh, and if you like the deck, um, please build it, and test it, and uh, comment on how it could be better, or if you just see something uh, that could be better, just post it in the comments. Thanks.